how's it going? Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about Solidus. And no, I'm not talking about the Solidus snake character from the Metal Gear Solid game series. I am talking about the open source e-commerce project that's written using Ruby on Rails. Now, what are we going to be covering today is I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a new Solidus app. So we're going to generate a new Rails app and then we're going to install Solidus into uh, the Rails app that we just generated and we're going to put in some test data and get it all ready for doing some customizations. So the next few videos are going to be about Solidus and how you can install Solidus to your Rails app and customize all the pages. And uh, basically, we're going to build an e-commerce site using Solidus. So before we get started, let's talk about what it is. Uh, so Solidus is a open source e-commerce done right, as you can see from the website over here. And uh, what it is is actually it's a fork of uh, Spree Commerce. So um, there is a another uh, library called Spree Commerce here, also written in Rails. And what the guys at Solidus has done is is fork that out, and um, they're doing it their own way, right? So you can uh, you know read about their manifesto and why they you know, why they fork, uh, you know, Spree Commerce and all that stuff on their website. Uh, in this video, we're going to be focusing on getting all that set up. All right. So uh, if we head over to their GitHub page, we will see all the setup instructions and it's pretty straightforward, but I'm going to run through this with you guys anyway. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate a new Rails app. So Rails new shop shop, and you can call this whatever you want. I'm going to call it shop shop and uh, the PostgreSQL. Because we're going to use Postgres as our database, we need to set this option here. All right, so I'm going to cd into the shop shop directory, and I'm going to open this up in our text editor. Awesome. So here we are. We're in the uh, gem file, and what I'm going to do is install gem solidus. So I'm just following the instructions here. Now what I want to do is uh, a bundle install. So I want to install the Solidus. As you can see here, it's installed all the Solidus modules in my app. Now what I want to do is there is a problem with a uh, version of the assets that we're using here. So what we really want to do is do a bundle update right after, uh, you know, just so that it uses all the dependencies that comes with Solidus. All right, so as you can see here, it's updated Solidus to 1.1.1. Um, so be sure to do the bundle update. That will, you know, remove a lot of problems that you may run into. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is run the install process. So I'm going to do bundle exec. Rails G, Spree install. So as you can see, it is a fork of Spree and you will see some, you know, some commands will still use the old Spree commands. All right, let's check out this, what this problem is. It's gotten into an error. Okay, it says that the database that does not exist. So what we got to do is we're going to head over in here, config database, and I'm just going to put in um, username. So this is, uh, you know, my development database setup. And what I'm going to do is a, a rake db create, just so that it doesn't have that error anymore. And then I'm going to run the setup command again. All right, so that's good. I'm going to run that. So this time uh, it should run just fine. So now um, the install script is going to set up the database, uh, set up the migrations and you know all the stuff that Solidus is going to need in order to get up and running. All right, so I'm gonna type in my email here and password. Um, I think test one, two, three is okay for our purposes. So now it's loading the sample data. So when you start off, you're not going to start off with an empty store. Solidus has a lot of features and we're going to run through those features, how to add products and all that stuff. Um, and having sample data is going to help with that. All right. So we're done with the install script. So the next thing we need to run is uh, this migrations command over here. So bundle exec, rake, rail ties install migrations. Now what this command does is it's going to um, add all the migrations in here for you. So as you can see here, uh, if you want to build your own custom features, um, you know, on top, you can just add on 
to the migrations uh, without, you know, without, without having to worry about a thing. So, you know, this is a starting point for an e-commerce site and you can build on top of that. So that's very, very cool. All right, so with that done, we should be able to boot up the application. So Rails S to boot it up. And we're gonna head over to localhost over here. All right, so it's complaining about this, um, you know, we need to set up device. Uh, so as you can see here, uh, it's, it's loading the, the landing page of the, sh the application now. Sample store, there we go. So this is what you get started off with, with Solidus. And uh, in the next episode, we're gonna be taking a look at customizing all of this. So how do you take a design uh, and then implement it into this e-commerce platform here? Cool, guys. This is going to wrap it up for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share this video. It really helps us out. And uh, if you want to support us, sharing these videos is a great way of doing that. And I will see you guys in the next one.